Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a Facebook market find. It is going to be a flipping piece of furniture and I'm going to be painting it out. Stay tuned in. So hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. It's me Chanel here and a video for painting or making over a furniture find. He says you can see here it is round. When I first saw it on Facebook marketplace it looked from the photo that the lady had shared on there. It looked as if it was like a half table. So it had once I got there and uh, I almost left it, but um, we did a little haggling <laughs> and uh, she brought it down to uh, a very low price for me. And I'm going to be reselling this piece. I divulged the price of it. It was, trust me, a excellent, excellent deal. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and clean it up. Am I worried about working here in my maker room? No, <laughs> not worried at all. I won't be spilling any paint. And so I'm just going to give it a good clean, spray the entire piece down really well, and wipe the whole thing down. Let her dry and go to work. Party home. And so far I gave it a light sanding coat over it. I did just a light clear coat of clear shellac over it. Like the interior, I'm thinking about painting the interior of it to give it just a little bit contrast and pretty when you open up the door. Now, it looks as if it is two doors, two separate doors, but it is actually just one door, which I like that. And it is solid wood, the entire piece is solid wood. I thought about stripping the whole thing down and leaving it in natural wood but it is such a cute accent piece i thought it would look even better just painted and with this piece i'm going to be using some rust-oleum chalk paint and it is in this and it is called blush pink open it up here for you these things come in so handy that they give you at the paint store so I always keep these on here, and I keep several of them, always painting furniture. So as you can see, this very lovely shade of pink, very light. Now again, with this lovely shade of pink, again, I just really like this color. It's a very soft, easy pink. It has a lot of white in it, I guess, to brighten it up or to lighten it up, but it's very, very soft. Of course, I'm gonna use a brush, just a regular small brush, like an edging brush, and I like the bristles on it. This works very well when using your paints and especially chalk paint. You don't have to get an actual chalk paint brush, just a really good quality brush. And I'm gonna use a roller because of course, with the chalk paint, you still get a really nice, smooth finish, and I like to use a regular sponge roller most of the time when I am doing with chalk paint because it does give a very smooth edge, not an edge, but a smooth finish on top of the piece. You will need to use something to put your paint inside of the hardware. little nails and keep them and now we will proceed to just painting the piece and I'm going to go over it with a light coat first coat of the chalk paint along the entire piece to let it continue to dry for at least two hours maybe three hours in between coats and most likely I'm going to put on three coats since I'm not doing a white primer on the base of the piece. I just did a clear coat again of shellac. Thank you. 
all the way around and I didn't paint the interior of the cabinet. I left it the same. So Add the polyacrylic to seal it on top because it is chalk paint. Very porous, very scratch. Uh, you could scratch it and if you rub hard enough with water, soap and water, you could wash it right off. Which you a good polyacrylic. I like this one for mint. It dries quickly. It gives a great finish. They have different finishes. And again, with this piece, it is not going to stay here. It is going to a new home and a new home after that, which I will be sharing in later videos. Uh, follow me on Instagram over at Angelic Interior Designs and uh, you'll catch some snippets over there of uh, some of the things that are going to be coming along for the channel. To apply the polyacrylic with a roller as well as a brush along these portions of the cabinet, I'm just going to use a brush to apply a thin coat and then I'll go back over with another coat once that dry. Pour my acrylic into a container when I'm using it. I don't like to use it straight out of the can because with the different paint colors, um, it does bleed a little bit into it. So you don't wanna, unless you're gonna just tint your clear coat for your top coat as well on your paint. Once finished with all of the clear coat of the poly acrylic, then I'm going to go ahead with the hinges that were attached originally on the piece. I tend to like to keep the original pieces, especially if they're old pieces. Um, sometimes I like to mix the more newer knobs or handles with older pieces, but in most cases, I like to keep the originals if at all possible. And here I'm going to use some toothpaste and this is a great product to use instead of a uh, another chemical that you could use to remove uh, old rust and debris from your hardware for, like this brass. And the toothpaste does the trick excellently, as you can see here, and it still has a little bit of age appearance, which I really love, and it goes along with the piece. And here, as you can see, the before and after of each one of the backings that goes on the piece. And then I'm just going to go in here and apply them back to the piece. And I'll just do a little staging on it and uh, let you see that. So thank you all for joining me here. Don't forget to join me on my other social media sites. And that again is linked down below in the description box. And I'll see you all for the next one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Continue to stay motivated, inspired, and moving, creating something beautiful, if not for yourself, for someone else. And it all is from the inside and it exudes outwardly. Thank you for joining me again. This has been Chanel. Bye for now. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. Try to get some sleep